What's good, YouTube? Admin Umbra back for another OU battle. And today we got a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Not that they're all not top quality, but this is I, this is a really fun battle. Um, so this battle happened on the Rocket HQ stream. Of course, if you want a chance to battle Shade or myself or any of the elites, the stream is the best place to be. We post all the battles from the stream on YouTube, but if you want to catch them live or for a chance to battle us, be sure you check out the stream. Link is down below. And don't forget, uh, the stream is where you can rank up in Team Rocket as part of the Rocket tier system. Also, you can challenge gym leaders in the Team Rocket Pokemon League. So be sure you check that out. Looking at the actual teams in this battle, you can see once again I'm bringing the patented Mega Heracross uh, Jolteon Speed Control team. Uh, this is the first play session I have with this team is where this battle is from. Um, so I'm definitely going to make some changes between this play session and the next time I stream. Um, this team is definitely a challenge to use, but it's really fun. It's got some really creative stuff on it. Some stuff I think is really powerful. I think it's got a lot of potential. So I'm excited to keep working on this team, hopefully try to make it great, and just get more in tune with this team, learn how to use it better. Because, you know, every team is like that. You need to learn how to use it. Um, so looking at my opponent's team, there's a lot that Mega Heracross destroys, which, let's be honest, that's why Mega Heracross is amazing. It destroys a lot. Hydreigon sit down. Uh, Heatran sit down. Kelio sit down. Uh, pretty much just the Crobat and the uh, Landorus want to take a hit from uh, Heracross. Um, granted, the Mega Aguan can take a hit or two. Um, two. <laughs> That's how many it can take. It can take, Or, I mean, it can survive one. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah, so... That's my opponent's team. Um, definitely got some very powerful threats. Uh, so I knew right away it was going to be an exciting battle. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into this one. Um, and once again, Rocket people... Please leave a like or dislike, leave a waiting down below. Let us know what you think of this video. It helps Wacky HQ grow, it really helps the admins out. And don't be afraid to leave a comment. We love hearing from you and competitive, insightful comments can even get you points in the Racketeer system. So, leads, I leave with Jolteon and... <laughs> Jolteon, this, this Pokemon needs to have Vault Switch. I thought Agility with Tom Pass would be awesome. But here you see, for example, I miss Vault Switch, dam Vault Switch damage, which on something like Aguan is very, very important to have. I really... Really wish that I got some Vault Switch damage off. Um, my opponent makes a very interesting play. I'm not going to call it Whiskey because it really wasn't that Whiskey for them. Um, but they go for the T-Wave, predicting me to switch out. Um, so not a bad play on their part. I'm wondering if they thought maybe Heatran would come in. Uh, I do, in fact, go into my Skarmory. Um, you know, yep, I just go for Tailwind. I'm like, why not? Uh, I see no reason not to. Obviously, I know the Fire Blast is coming at this point in time. Uh, so my plan is to switch into my Heatran, um, but my opponent, I'm guessing, either predicted that, or I don't know, because when you stream, people always see your team, so I don't know what my opponent predicted or what was going on, but um, with the Tailwind up, I do go in the Heatran, and I'm like, that's still perfect, um, because I have HP Ice, and in a Tailwind, I am faster than you, so I was so happy when I saw they stayed in, sit down, choice specs, offensive Landorus, or it's not Landorus, Choice Specs, Offensive Heatran. This thing is powerful. So that was awesome. My opponent now uh, can gather. I, they call that I'm Scarfed here. So I'm like, or that I'm Choice. So they send in Keldeo, which quad resists the ice. Um, I think I definitely should have gone to Chansey. I was afraid of the Sacred Sword, but that, that was a misplay on my part. Chansey could have taken and wish, and wish recovered easily. It was a definite, definite mistake to go in the Skarmory here, and I lose my Skarmory, so that was definitely a misplay. Lesson learned. However, from the damage right there, I immediately know this thing is Spexed. So it's not Scarf, it can't Aqua Jet, so I'm like, something on your team is taking a T-Bolt, and it doesn't want to. My opponent decides to stay in and fodder the Keldea. I'm not sure if I would have done that, but I was very, very happy to see it go down. Um, so I think now my opponent brings back in the Agwan, and again, this is, I wish I had Vault Switch. I would be racking up damage on this thing over time, so... I am definitely going to, to change that. Um, here I go into my Chansey since Skarmory's gone. Otherwise, I would have gone into Skarmory. I'd love to see someone want a mixed Aguan, similar to mixed T-Tar. Um, obviously, I can take the Earthquake very well. They T-Wave me. Uh, at this point in time, I'm fearing nothing because I have Natural Cure. Um, I think I went for just the Safe Wish. Um, I do, in fact, go for the Safe Wish. So here I want to scout my opponent's going to go for. Um, I need to see if they have the Iron Head. Uh, which they do show me here because I could always switch into Heatran on a Iron Head. Um, but here's what I'm afraid of. If I was my opponent, I would realize that it's very likely that I'm going to switch into Heatran. So I would have gone for an Earthquake this turn. 
Um, I didn't do anything this turn because, or I went for Wish this turn. I wanted to see if my opponent would go for the Earthquake. Um, so I decide to end up playing it safe, quote unquote, and I switch in the Heracross because I'm like, all right, Heracross can take an Iron Head or an Earthquake. Um, I'm really surprised my opponent didn't wise up and go for Earthquake because it was so obvious I could switch in Heatran uh, and nothing on his team wants to take a Choice Specs Flamethrower. So I go ahead and Mega because I need all my strength because this thing is a monster. Stab him in the face with that horn and oh my gosh, he lives. Should have done the calc. Really, really frustrated right there. I was one out of time trying to decide between Heracross and Heatran so I didn't have time. Um, and I lose my Heracross, which is hugely detrimental. Um, my biggest mistake using this team has been not preserving the pokes I need very well. So that was a huge mistake because Heracross did a lot of work to the team, especially with Keldeon Lando is gone. So it's really, really frustrating that I let him go down right there. I've determined I definitely, definitely need Vault Switch on the Pokemon in this slot because that, again, I would have killed Aggron right there. It would have gone down. Um, it would have had some nice damage off. Um, and here, like, I, I would just be ranking a lot of damage up on my opponent's team. So I'm definitely going to change that about Jolteon. If you have any other pokes you'd recommend instead of Jolteon, let me know. I've got some in mind. I'm definitely going to be using a different Jolteon, excuse me, and a different Pokemon even in that slot next time you see this, or not next time you see this team, but the next time I stream, um, which for you all has already happened yet. Yeah. Yay. Uploading on a delay. So uh, here I'm a Chansey and I'm like, I'm, here's my thought process. Because I've lost Heatran, Heatran, I keep saying the Pokemon I'm looking at, because I've lost Mega Heracross. I now need to rely on Chansey a lot more because I'm realizing with Lander is gone, with Keldeo gone, his best answers to Chansey are gone. Um, and he has a lot of special threats. So I'm like, to be totally honest, Chansey can kind of stall out his entire team with Seismic Toss. Um, I don't carry Focus Blast or anything like that on my, uh, my Heatran. I don't really want my Heatran taking on other Heatrans. Um, I feel like as soon as I started using Heatran, I now see Heatrans everywhere like way more than i did with my last team um so here i'm just very much playing the game of like all right i have no reason not to just wish and and whittle his team down with chancy because he has no he has made the mistake of letting the threats that could kill chancy go down um so here i decided to switch in the meow stick i honestly don't think that was necessary even a little bit risky in case my opponent went for a toxic um but here I'm like, I might as well paralyze the Crobat um, just to ensure that Heatran uh, and Jolteon can deal with it a little bit better. Um, so I do it this thing with the T-Wave. Uh, it does go for the Brave Bird. I have Defense Investment, so I take this very, very well. Um, so next turn, now that I'm faster, I'm like, I might as well go for a Psychic. Um, and I was really, really debating this. Um, I'm honestly really surprised my opponent stayed in. I would have switched out here, to be totally honest, because they go for a U-turn, so they wanted to switch out, but they had to rely on not being paralyzed. So I'm guessing they were willing to fodder their Crobat, because uh, had they been paralyzed, they would have died there. So that was a really risky play on their part. And then this was definitely not the ideal switch. This is a Scarfed Hydreigon, but I mess up. Um, I fail to realize that Stealth Wax are up, which means I'm at the range of health while I'll die when I come back in. That thing is scarfed. I should have definitely, definitely, definitely gone for T-Wave. Um, tricked in my Iron Ball. One of the two, but T-Wave is more favorable. Um, I should have definitely gone for the T-Wave uh, to slow that thing down. Um, worst case scenario, they switched out into Agron. It was paralyzed and I killed it with a Psychic anyway. That was a huge misplay on my part. Um, and it puts me in a risky situation later in the battle because I won't be able to guarantee slow that thing down anymore. Um, I, that was definitely a misplay. I definitely should have just T-Wave by Drag on there. But here again, I'm in the same position. My opponent has nothing that can stop a Chansey. And, you know, that's why it's important when you're team building to look at the big threats uh, that are in the tier you're playing and realize, do you have something for everything? At least that's how I play because I'm a very defensive-oriented player. Um, so here again, I'm like, Heatran, buddy, I'm sorry, but you're not, you're not going to touch me. You're not. Um, so I'm free to just go for Seismic Tosses because, honestly... My opponent's best bet. Here I'm guessing he's fishing for a burn. He's going to start going for um, Lava Plume soon. At least I would have. I don't know why he's going for Flash Cannon. I think he's predicting my switch, but there's, I'm a Chansey. There's no reason not to. Chansey is smiling, but it will slowly, slowly take your life force. This little thing will throw you into space and then just destroy you. This thing is a monster. So my opponent has lefties, so it's taking a little bit longer. But again, Lucy, we're talking in the stream. 
If you've seen the trailer for the movie Lucy, where she has 100% of her mind, this is what happens. When you unlock 100% of your mind, you turn into Chansey, the space-throwing demon. Um, so Chansey is just up here throwing this heat around like it's a pancake. And again, you can see how pitiful the lava plume damage is. Uh, my opponent's not yet got a burn, um, which I feel for them a little bit. But again, I, I mean, I'm a Chansey. Like, I'm not super devastated by that. Um, so go for another seismic toss. Eh, it just barely survives. Um, to get lefties, but obviously this next seismic toss will take it out. Uh, so my opponent goes, must use all their strength, go for this last dish lava plume, shoot, la even though it's fire, not lava, and boom, they get the burn. So I'm um, happy that they got that little tidbit right there. I go for the seismic toss, obviously enough to take Heatran out. Um, so Chansey is just putting in the work here, and again, the only reason I'm doing this is because I, I, I made the mistake of letting my Heracross go down. If my Heracross was here, I could have been sweeping these pokes, but because my Heracross is dead, uh, I now have to stall these pokes out because I've killed the only thing on my opponent's team that can take out this Chansey, really. Here my opponent, I can tell they wanted it so bad. When they went for that Draco, I was like, oh, you poor thing, you want it so bad, but I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm a Chansey, I'm a demon. I'm a demon, and I refuse to be taken down. Um... Chansey lives it handsomely and realize I have no item recovery. I'm burned and my only recovery is Wish and I'm still like unkillable. So the fact they're going for Draco again, I'm like, all right, you're definitely scarfed. Probably not Specs since you have the Specs Keldeo. So I definitely, definitely, definitely should have used T-Wave on my Meowstic. Again, I forgot Rocks were up. My plan was to bring Meowstic in later and T-Wave the Hydreigon. So... It's my own fault for not realizing rocks were up. I don't know. I was being admin noodle for a second. Hope y'all can forgive me. Um, so again, you see, it's a little bit harder for me now because, again, I have no lefties because I'm Eviolite and I'm taking burn damage on top of everything else. Um, but I am still able, like, he's still, he can't punch through me. And he's just lowering his attack. Um, so I am able to go for a seismic toss here on the Crobat. Uh, it's not going to kill. It's going to bring it down like right on the edge. And then it's going to get its Black Sludge. Um, I get my Free Wish though. And obviously the Para, I'm free to just go for a Seismic Toss here. Um, so I do in fact go for another one as soon as I stop being burnt slowly. Um, I go for my Seismic Toss and that obviously will take out the Crobat. Um, so my opponent's team is basically being slowly strangled to death. Um, I think at this point on time all they have left is the Hydreigon. We'll see as soon as it comes back in. Uh, yes, yes, I believe that all they have left is the Hydreigon at this point in time. Uh, so here they locked themselves in the Dark Pulse. Um, going for that flinch game. Um, but again, Hydreigon really cannot do much to this Chansey. Um, now granted I have made the mistake of not letting this thing be paralyzed, which would have, one, made this for me much, much easier if this thing had a chance to be paralyzed and I was faster. Uh, would have been much much easier that was definitely my own fault need to pay more attention to that in the future um but left i've got my meowstic my jolteon and my heatran at least um i think that's actually it that is it i believe um and so jolteon will not outspeed this thing again because it's scarfed um so but it is locked in the dark pole so i do have two things with hp ice heatran and jolteon so i'm trying to kill this thing with chancy but here i make a misplay and um at least, maybe it's not here yet. At one point here, I go for a Seismic Toss when I should have gone for a Wish. Um, which, in conjunction with a Flinch, is going to be enough to take me out. Um, here I do, in fact, Protect with the Chansey. Uh, obviously, because I got Dangerously Low right there. Um, I want to say shout out to my opponent again for being such a good sport. I know that some people can be frustrated uh, by facing uh, by being in this predicament. But again, my, my uh, attempt was not to just stall my opponent out. It was... It's it's just it's battling and my team has a stall element to it. It's not a stall team. Unfortunately, I lost my hair across. If I still had my hair across, I would have been sweeping through the team. But because I lost the hair across, I had to resort to using my Chansey since I noticed that I successfully took out all the threats to Chansey. My opponent let the Keldeo go down, um, let the Landorus go down, which meant my Chansey was basically untouchable. So that's why threat management is so important. Um, if you let go of something you need, it really comes back later. But luckily, my opponent gets a flinch, so they do take my Chansey down. Here, I'm like, it's all right, I got that T. Oh, rocks are up. So again, my misplay. Um, I hadn't been switching very much, and my team isn't very affected by rocks. So that was my fault. This was like at 2 a.m. after a six-hour stream, so that was my fault. Um, so now, I put myself in the position where I have to rely on not getting Dark Pulse flinched. Um, so again, that is my mistake. I should have gone for T-Wave earlier. And that's why you rewatch battles. You rewatch your battles, wins and losses, because you learn from it. 
Uh, but luckily, Heatran, mm, I'm not even defensive at all. I survived that easily. Go for my choice spec to HP Ice. Hydreigon goes down. Call me Hercules. Slay in the Hydra. Uh, so that was a really, really exciting battle. That was a really fun one. Two really cool teams. Uh, McCoy, shout out to McCoy. I really enjoyed your team. Thank you so much uh, for supporting the stream, for battling me in the stream. I hope you had fun. I thought it was a great battle. A really, really fun one. Um, got to show off some different team members. Definitely, I'm definitely learning some things about how this team works, what pokes I need to save, things of, the na of that nature, excuse me. But um, again, McCoy, thank you so much for the battle. I hope you had fun. I really enjoyed the battle. Um, and everyone stay tuned because Rocket HQ is a daily upload channel. We upload daily videos and we upload across all metagames. So uh, OU, VGC, we upload frequently. I'm going to be doing some Ubers content soon. We've got the Battle of Legends tournament happening. Uh, one of our elites is doing a contract for NU Battles, so if you like NU Battles, NU is coming to the channel. Just go to the channel's homepage and you'll see playlists for every tier. Just sit there and if you feel like watching OU, watch OU. If you feel like watching UU, watch UU. That's Rocket HQ providing for you. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a waiting, a comment down below. And that's going to be it for today, Rocket people. Stay tuned for more tomorrow. Um, explore the YouTube. There's a lot going on. Some of it might surprise you. So venture on through. Check out the poetry, the viewer submissions. Lots of stuff here in Rocket HQ. I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Abba Umbra. Have a good one.